According to the police union, during the month of April, IMPD investigated 61 shootings. During that same time, 35 people were stabbed. Yet some community leaders say those numbers aren't surprising even during the statewide stay-at-home order. An argument in the street here on the Near East Side Thursday night led to a woman being shot and wounded in the leg. That victim was the last person shot in Indianapolis during the month of April, coinciding with the public health crisis. Even with the pandemic, if you don't deal with the root causes, you're not going to, uh, you know, reduce the violence. Reverend Charles Harrison with the Ten Point Coalition believes the root causes of violence include the disproportionately high number of African Americans incarcerated and living in single parent households, which leads to other problems. That also tends to create more poverty. So if you got one income trying to support a family, um, that tends to create more poverty than when you have two incomes. Over the last 30 days, Indianapolis saw 11 homicides. These are some of the faces of those victims. Harrison points out an overwhelming majority of murder victims are black men and women. Clearly cutting down on crime numbers is not a quick fix. And Harrison doesn't expect criminal activity in Indianapolis to slow down despite the ongoing stay at home restrictions. The drug trafficking is still going on. Um, still people are involved in criminal activity that's still going on. So I, I'm not for sure we should be as surprised that those numbers are still high. If somebody's selling drugs, they're not going to stop selling drugs because of the pandemic. We got to get to the issue why they're selling the drugs, you know, and that's the root causes that we have to address. Finally, four months into the year, Indianapolis has seen 60 total homicides compared to 44 at the same time last year. Jesse Wells. Fox 59 News.